How to deliver an Oscar winning presentation. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Here's a cold hard fact for you. Everyone hates doing presentations. Even people that do nothing but give presentations day in day out and are members of the I Love Giving Presentations group on Facebook. Even they hate giving presentations. They're horrible and they're stressful and you have people looking at you and judging the things you're saying. Fortunately, there's some stuff you can do to help muddle through it. Step 1. Relax. Think of the bigger picture. It's just a presentation and no matter how much is riding on it, no one's died. It doesn't really matter. Even if you were to stand up there with a frying pan on your head, do a funny little dance and faint, in the grand scheme of things no one's really going to care. So go in there with a carefree attitude. Step 2. Practice. The more you know your source material, the better. You need to be able to answer any questions, no matter how left field they are, in an enthusiastic and well-versed manner. Read and reread around the topic as much as possible. Step 3. Don't be afraid to stop. Pausing for thought is not a crime. A dramatic pause at the end of a blistering point will not only work wonders, but will also give you time to sneakily plan what to say next. Step 4. Handouts. Print out handouts of your presentation. This serves two purposes. Firstly, your audience will be able to refer back to your points when the presentation is a distant memory. And, most importantly, it'll give them something to look at that isn't you. Step 5. Use PowerPoint. And use it well. Make sure it's well written, with clear, concise points. There's no point putting an essay up there, because no one will read it while you're talking. Get to the crux of your current message, and summarise it in three to five key points. Don't be afraid to copy a slide so you can return to it later in the presentation. It'll help hammer an important point home. Use PowerPoint as a visual prompt. It's there to replace cheat sheets, so use it as such. Step 6. Jazz it up. A white page with three bullet points on it is boring. Use PowerPoint with smart art to make your presentation visually compelling. Give your audience something to look at. Use as many slides as you like and refresh through them at a quick enough rate so that they never become stale. Using colour and styles is dead easy now thanks to the massive array of options under the Design tab. Colours, fonts, all that ready for you to use. So use it. Step 7. Numbers. If your presentation contains numbers, beware. Numbers are boring to look at. It's possible to kill an audience member with a boring enough number, so turn it into a chart. Pie charts work well because you can click and drag segments to make them stand out. You can even do them in 3D, which looks so professional you'd scarcely believe it. Step 8. Presenter view. Presenter view is a special feature of PowerPoint you're probably not aware of. It's a second screen you can have on a laptop in front of you that will show you extra details. So, you can make notes down the side of a slide that only you can see. There's also a timer so you know how long you've been waffling on for, what slides are coming up next, and all sorts. It's an invaluable tool. Step 9. Picture them naked. Because that always works. Presentations are a pain, but a necessary pain. Get it right and you could be looking at a promotion. So, get it right. Done.